Good morning, seventh grade. This is the Cordez. This is my alter ego mm -hmm. coming to you live. We're doing math today. Something about p -p 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 proportional r -r 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 relationships. Yuppers. Mm -hmm. well, 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 when you're solving a proportion, I'm so sorry. There's no magic potion to find that missing part. You'll have to get smart. And how you solve this major problem. Don't look at your neighbor and try to rob them feet to find out what to do. Now I will show you. You could use a ratio or scale factor. We gonna stick with ratio. Either way, you'll get there. Oh, yes, children. Oh, yes. In life, both fractions are similar. You got to figure out what's going on with their scale factor you gotta put your thinking cap on and divide left or right you can do it i know you can don't you be scared it's all in your hands the power lies within you there's no number that defines you when we're studying proportional relationships, we got to think about what kind of connection do these numbers have? For example, two over six, you know, just by itself, it sticks. Because the two goes into its own self once, and a six, it goes into three times. Mm -hmm, I'm not a dunce. So you know it's even, yes. And can be second guessed, meaning you can reduce it, y'all. It's a simple thing called the unit rate to order in which you divide determines your thinking. Yes, it does. The amount on top divided by stuff on the bottom is usually the word per. And it tells you how much you have. All right, y'all. After you can do a remix, but we're gonna we're gonna try this one more time. Somebody gotta do a rap. We need Cardi B. When you're solving a proportion, I'm so sorry, seventh grade. There ain't no magic potion, but this ain't no Harry Potter. You gotta find that missing part. You have to get smart. Ain't no wands up in here. This ain't no Beetlejuice. There's no sorcerer coming to save us. That's me. Do the best you can and find a connection between stands. You could use ratio or scale factor either way. You'll get there. Oh, yes, you will. Just trust in your own voice. And this man will speak to you. All right, now, cash prize for anybody who can do a better job than me. Oh, yes, this job is terrifying, especially when you have to sing off key. Okay, got you now. All right. And you have 20 million screens. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. This now, this is my favorite. I'm in love with proportions. Mm. Are you ready? Let's get this tune up now. 
tune-up. Okay, that kid is talking. See, I'm recording on two devices. I don't know what this is. This is, this is gray, gray. Man, I'll get this. Sorry, 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 I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. Body to the low low. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. Simplified it to the low low. I'm in love with proportions. Twelve to six, that's my ratio. Simplified it to the low low. Two to one, my new ratio. Just listen to this video. Then you can do it on the solo. At the start, you say, oh no. Oh no. Heard the teachers talking loco. Loco. I know nothing about these propos. My math homework, I drop my math homework. My oh, math homework, I drop my math know. homework. Whipping through this class, kids. I'm solving problems fast, kids. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. No, no, no. Simplified it to the low, low. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. Simplified it to the low, low. I'm in love with proportions. Three to six, that's a ratio. Six to twelve, another ratio. You wanna see if they are equal? Then you use cross products. This might make you hypnotic. Just don't go psychotic. You'll get it, I promise. Just handle it with calmness. My math homework, I drop my math homework. Yep, yep. My, my math, math homework, I drop my math homework. We've been through this class, kids. I'm solving problems fast, kids. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. Simplified it to the low, low. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. I'm in love with proportions. Simplified it to the low, low. I'm in love with proportions. So you get it now? I'm in love with proportions now. Look what he does. Look what the kid does, the high school kid, proportions. This is your first set of proportion. Set it equal to whatever number you're trying to find. So four over x, in this case, you're trying to find the denominator. Go to four. Cross multiply. So it's two x equals four over four. Right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna stop the share. I'm gonna use the whiteboard. Okay, so let me show you what's going on here. Um, I need the whiteboard, a whiteboard. All right, let's see if see this is supposed to be interactive and immersive, and the frustration is that it's not. All right. what he's saying he had two over four 
Okay. Then in the middle, it says this, the equal sign. Okay. Look, do the best you can. Like we all, we all, this is new for everybody. Four over X. Okay, feel me. Look. Before you even do anything, just stare at the problem. A, a relationship is a connection and a proportion, it just means a number that's not equal. Like it's not something that it's not like oh rocket science. Like just just break the math down to English like a story of units. So this is what you're gonna do. Once upon a time, there was a number two. The two lived over the four. The two was smaller than the four. And so when the four wanted a wife, the four asked the two and the two said no, because it said this relationship is not equal. Mm -mm. No, no, gotta be e equal, y'all. No separate, but equal. However, is there a connection between the two and the four? The two said, I will always be your friend. We will always be connected from now and until the end. Why? Because we are both even numbers and i go into you evenly. Two plus two. Let's get the pluser now. Let's get the pluser. Two plus two equals four. So if the two goes into its own self once, you have to ask yourself in, in your own mind, right? In the math, like how many times do the two go into the two? Oh, that's equal, bro. Once. How many times do the two go into the four? Oh, y'all, I know two plus two is four. Okay. That's one half. Okay. Half, y'all, is 50 cents. What can you buy to that bodega for 50 cents? Nothing if I can steal it for free. <laughs> yep. No, don't do not do that. Joke. Don't, don't, well, you know, do what y'all have to do, y'all, to survive, right? Okay. You see, you see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? Okay, look at how many different crazy ways, because math is a crazy town, we can write one half. Two over four is not two over four because it's not in its lowest form. It's like it's like if you go to bed without taking a bath on a Sunday night, something wrong with you, can't sleep dirty, got to get up, go take the bath. That's like two over four. Two over four is one half. One half is equal to 50 cents. That's half a dollar. 0 0.50. 0, 0 0.5 is also one. It's also half. Okay. It's like, it's like when you like, do you want a full cup of coffee or do you want half? Nah, just half, bro. Half, half. Minimum, homie. Okay. Equal four over X. Well, what does that even mean? Because X is a letter. Like, what is this foolishness? What that young man in high school did was he changed the equal to the X. Why? Because the dream is still a dream. It's not yet achieved. People are not yet totally and unequivocally equal. You got to cross that out because that's a lie. We're trying to get there. Cross it out, put the X. Now you're going to go um, like this, like a diagonal. So you have now, right? He was trying to show you two x i'm doing this right i'm doing this right two, wait is it two f <laughs> is it two over x is it two over x okay i'm sorry two over x see the math the math is so mathy y'all it's just so mathy i can't with it the math it just have no voice and then he said two over X and then four. Okay, so I need to I need to cheat because I need Jesus right now. That's 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 actually what I need. Okay. What does he have? What does the young man have? Give me the answer. Yeah, two, no, 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 two over four. Okay. So he has it written out. Two X and then he's got four times four. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
we have 2 over ax. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. Do not try this at home. Do not embarrass yourself in front of people like me. All right. The, the, in live, Miss Cordes will not do that. Okay. So you have cell X. Done. Um, equal, what is it? Oh my goodness. I'm going to four times four. Okay. All right, look, you only have four numbers. You're either going to go across or diagonal in life. Work it out, right? So this. Four times four is sixteen. Six times x. So okay, two divided by two is one, right? Goes into its own self. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to bring the x down. Mm, okay, two goes into sixteen. Two. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Did anybody get that? I got, I got X equals eight. Pray, pray that's the right answer. If we do one half, would we get the same thing? Let's go back, y'all. If we reduced it and then we cross multiplied. Let's see if we get the same thing. One second. Oh, one. oh, look, the answer is right. One times X is X. Two times four is eight is the same. That's, that's all it is. Is like the ratio and proportion. So the ratio, the ratio now, that's the proportion, that's X. Okay. So y'all did that right. That's good. Good job, y'all. Good job. Good job, y'all. I hope people are seeing this. I, I pray people are seeing this. I really do. Let's go back. Um. Okay. And then... You're gonna um what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump into I think the Prezi is is more is better. So we we're not gonna share this. However, what we are gonna do okay, good good job, y'all. Um if you want, if I could, let me see, I put the Prezi thing in the chat. I think y'all should have it though. Okay. The tech is a little bit sticky today. And then it goes in your teacher's Google Classroom. And we're going to use Cami next time. All right. Let me grab that link. Okay, Tom, we're going to go back here. All right, let's put us in our math class. It's supposed to be immersive, and we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Let's hit up the chat. Okay, there you go. There's your Prezi. Okay. Bye. Remember, I'm a love with proportion. Simplify it on a low, low. <laughs> I'm in love with proportion. Okay.